With the start of 2022, consumers were facing high inflation rates, potential tax code changes, and a slumping supply chain. Taking these challenges into account and the last two years of crisis, it may be more important than ever for individuals and families to put their financial lives in order. Hello everyone and welcome back to the Finance Guardian channel. Saving money seems like an easy task. Unfortunately, this is not true for everyone. Due to our varying incomes, necessities, expenses, responsibilities, and the like, there is no doubt that we also have different saving capacities. Nonetheless, this is not to say that it is impossible for us to save. With a little change in our spending behaviors and mindsets, we should be able to reach our goals by the end of the year. Within no time, you will find yourself not worried about your finances and having enough for both savings and expenses. Let's look at 16 ways to make the most of your money in 2022. Hit that subscribe button and the bell beside it, and let's get started. Number 1. Keep track of your growth. To get a decent sense of your financial position, calculate how much your net worth is. This is basically your assets such as cash and checking and savings accounts, investments, real estate and cars, minus your debts such as student loans, mortgages and overdue credit card bills. Take the time to do this at the start of each month in 2022 to see if you're making progress towards your savings or debt repayment goals. You can always use an app like Personal Capital or You Need a Budget or you can create your own tracking sheet in Excel. Number 2. Invest in index funds. Are you new to investing? Do you have a few hundred dollars you want to grow? Look into index funds. While there are trendier options out there, many investors, especially beginners, find index funds to be excellent investments. The goal of index funds is to track the entire stock market. Rather than just investing in Google or Facebook alone, you can invest in both, as well as in a wide range of other companies. Having this sort of diversification will help protect you against market downturns. Moreover, it's a time-tested strategy for building wealth, something you can't really say about buzzier products. Number 3. Be wary of trading apps Invest, yes, but be careful if you do it through apps that turn investing into a game, especially short-term investments and trades. While stock picking can be entertaining, it's not a way for 99.9% .9 of the population to accumulate wealth. At the very least, if you invest in high-risk assets or use trading apps, make sure that you have an emergency fund in an FDIC-insured account. Number 4. Boost Your Credit Score Two of the most important things you can do to boost your FICO credit score are to pay off your bills on time and in full every single month and keep your credit utilization under 30%. Also taken into consideration by creditors is the length of your credit history, the last time you applied for a new type of credit, and the mix of credit cards you use. But the biggest impact will come from paying your bills on time and keeping your balances low. Number 5. Explore the World of Crypto it's not a good idea to invest all of your money in cryptocurrencies, but at this point, you should take some time to understand them and how they work. You should be wary of learning only from people who profit from crypto. The same is true from any industry, but it is particularly important in a relatively new, largely unregulated, and growing one. And no matter what the asset is, never invest more than you can comfortably afford to lose. Number 6. Boost Your Savings Rate your savings rate shows how much of your monthly income you keep compared to how much you spend. If you raise it even a little, your overall financial situation will improve. You'll have extra money tucked away for a rainy day or for other goals such as buying a home or investing more. You can augment your savings rate in a number of ways, including contributing more to your 401k, maxing out your Roth IRA, or increasing your regular automated savings. Finding the money to make those adjustments is the harder part. To begin with, start small by increasing your 401k contribution by 1% every year or stop paying one monthly subscription you do not need and put the money in your savings account. Number 7. Find your retirement number No matter how far away you are from retirement, it's important to know how much you'll need to support yourself after you stop working full-time. Everyone's results will differ depending on their current income, family size, location, health, retirement plans, and expected social security payment, among other factors. Always keep in mind that things change. Get a sense of how much you will need, but be aware that it may change over time. Number 8. Increase your Roth IRA contributions 
As a matter of retirement, financial advisors have a special affinity for Roth IRAs, which let savers contribute after they have paid their taxes. As long as investors follow the withdrawal rules, their earnings and contributions grow tax-free, making them particularly powerful investment vehicles for those in lower tax brackets. In essence, you prepay your taxes. This 2022, investors under 50 can contribute $6,000 to their IRAs, while those 50 and over can contribute $7,000. This equates to $500 per month for younger savers, though if you can maximize it earlier in the year, even better. Assuming a 6% annual return, a 25-year-old who contributes $6,000 a year until they are 65 would end up with nearly $1 million. Keep in mind that the contribution limit will likely increase in the future. So if you don't have one and meet the income limits, then you should open one this 2022. You may also want to contribute more than you did last year if you have one already. Number 9. Keep an eye on your accounts By 2022, there's no excuse for not being proactive about cybersecurity. If you want to protect yourself and your money, you must first know where all of your accounts are located, including your banking, retirement, student loans, and credit cards. Then, at the very least, make sure that you enable multi-factor authentication on all of your accounts. From there, you can take a variety of safety precautions. If you're not planning to apply for credit in the near future, you can monitor your credit report or freeze your credit accounts. Using a password manager is also a good idea. With these products, you keep track of your usernames and passwords across devices, making it easier to use different passwords across different accounts. You can try LastPass or 1Password. Number 10. Put a plan in place for your benefits. This year, become familiar with your employer's benefits. You may be unaware of resources available to you such as financial planning sessions, wellness opportunities, or gym reimbursements. A few minutes spent on your HR portal or contacting your benefits manager directly can yield surprising results. And remember that if you carried over FSA funds from the previous year, you need to use the funds by a certain date. Make sure not to waste them. Number 11. Complete one task you've been putting off. Every one of us knows there's something we need to do, yet we always find ways to put it off. Take the time to accomplish that one thing on your long-term to-do list, whether it is finally taking a closer look at your investment mix and fees, making an end-of-life plan, or opening a 529 account for your child. Number 12. Hold a recurring day of life administration. Whether it's once a week or once a quarter, set aside a day to review your finances and other life admin tasks on a recurring schedule. It could be checking on spending, rolling over an old 401k, submitting receipts for reimbursement, returning purchases you don't want to keep, or canceling subscriptions. Make the most of this day by making a list of the tasks you need to complete from reviewing your spending to submitting receipts to checking your net worth. Number 13. Cut back on your expenses. Another way to save a little while ensuring you spend on what's important to you is to rank your expenses. To do so, make a list of all your non-essential expenses for the past three months. Next, rank them and try to cut out or reduce spending on the least important or necessary ones. Consider the money you would save on those expenses and what it would look like if you instead used it to achieve a goal. Number 14. Prepare for the return of student loan repayments. May 1, 2022 marks the start of federal student loan payments for around 41 million borrowers after a nearly two-year hiatus. In order to prepare, financial experts recommend checking your balance to determine how much you owe each month. When you've done that, you'll be able to work out how to fit it back into your budget. Also, ensure that your contact information and payment information are up to date with your lender. Number 15. Stop trying to time the market. When things start to get rough in the stock market, it can be natural to want to pull back to quote-unquote save money. But it is the worst thing to do, and when all is said and done, it costs investors a lot of money. Instead of letting your nerves get the best of you, view a down market as an opportunity to buy more. Make sure not to get scared and withdraw money from your investments, and you'll be glad you did. Number 16. Get the most out of your money Take a look at where your money has gone over the past year or so. Are you satisfied with how and where you're spending it? If not, you should make changes this 2022. It could mean shopping at local small businesses, avoiding massive retailers like Amazon, or investing in sustainable companies. Expenditures you make personally won't change the way the world works. Your dollars, however, do have a voice. Use them wisely. 
And that is all the time that we have today, folks. We hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, please do remember to hit that like button. If you're new around here, welcome and subscribe to our channel and on your way out. Please do remember to hit that bell icon too so you can remain updated about all of our future videos. You're welcome to the channel where you will learn the basics of personal finance in easy to understand language. We'll see you next time.